girls, it's Katie here at Woven Devotion. Thank you so much for joining us for this hair tutorial. So right now I have this half up that is really fun, flirty, and a little bit of a bohemian vibe. So if you're interested in how to get this look, stay tuned. And let's go ahead and get started. All right guys, so first of all, I started with hair that I've just kind of loosely curled. So um, just kind of brush through that. Use one of these paddle brushes. Um, I used a two inch barrel to just do like these light kind of waves. So what you want to do is kind of put your fingers through your hair like this. And it's better if you haven't gotten straight out of the shower and you have like completely clean hair. It's nice to have like a little bit of grip. If that's not a luxury, then I suggest putting like baby powder or even dry shampoo in to kind of give your hair a little bit of grip. Um, so where you want to start is kind of at either corner of your forehead, I know your forehead doesn't have a corner, but um, kind of either side here with your index finger and simply pull back right to the top here, right at your crown. So we're going to separate the hair here and show you what we've got going on here. Um, and what you want to do is you want to make sure that this isn't completely slicked back. You want to make sure that you kind of have a little bit of roughness. It's kind of okay if it's a little bit of bumpy, nothing too crazy, but a little bit of that messiness gives a really fun, tossed kind of bohemian look to it, which we're going for. So what I typically do is you can take a rat tail comb or something like this, and you want to back comb. So I'm just going right to the back here, and I'm back combing this and take your hairspray, spray a little bit, and then I stick my index finger kind of um, about three quarters of the way back, separate that. Okay, so we kind of have this funny teased part here. We're looking really chic right now. Kind of looks like I have a little horse tail there, but don't worry, I promise it'll come out great in the end, you've seen. All right, and then you're going to tease again about 10 times. So when you tease, you're going to hold the comb and you're just going to go down and then pull it out up at the top of the hair again and down again. So it's not a real science, guys. It's so easy. Spray a little bit. Again, this look is all about the volume. That's what we're going for. And then I separate that about in half. Tease again. Tease, 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 tease. With this spray. All right, now when I'm sufficiently poofed and I've got a funny little pompadour going on here, kind of want to just run your fingers through it a little bit. Okay, and pull those pieces again. And like I said, kind of run your fingers through it. It might be a little bit harder this time because you have some hairspray and obviously teasing going on. Um, kind of pull it back to the crown of your head here again. And now you need to have a ponytail that is going to be closest to your color, your hair color. You want it to kind of blend in. So I've got a little blondish ponytail here. And all you do is put your pony in, nice and tight. Okay, and then you pull to tighten it a little bit. Every lady knows that move, the tug. All right, and then what I typically do, again, to kind of give it that a little bit of messy bohemian look, is just kind of pull forward just a few little pieces like this. And honestly, guys, this is just preference. Um, so however you like it, and you know what, look, I pulled a little too much, totally fine, tuck it. It's kind of the fun part about this look. You can kind of play with it to whatever your desired taste is, the look that you're going for. If you want something more slicked back, great. But you know what, that one's a little too messy for me, so I'm gonna retry this again. And that's just the beauty of this look. It's so easy, guys. Take it out, redo it. It works for you. Okay, that's looking a little bit better. All right, now, again, we're all about volume with this, so we're not done with this ponytail yet, but we are going to come back. We're gonna set that aside. Um, so what you wanna do now is, I run my finger about an inch or so above the top of my ear. I take my comb and I back comb. Give a little bit of a spray here, not too much, and then let it fall. 
run your fingers kind of through it a little bit here. Let's see. Ooh, I'm loving it. Do the same on this side. And some of you may not want to do the teasing. You may have said, Katie, it looks fine just a second ago. Do what works for you. Do what you like. Do this spray. And then you have like this funny little, you're doing it right. If you've got this, you're doing it right. <laughs> um, but just play with it. Personally, I love the volume. The more volume, the happier my heart. <laughs> um, and then I go right above my ear here. And I do the same. Back home. Again, guys, it's seriously not a science. It's so easy. Tussle. It's just a really fun, feminine, girly look. Who doesn't love all of those adjectives, right? Okay. So now you've got that. Um, if you want, make sure that the back is matching. So I typically pull just this little piece right under the ponytail and I tease that a bit. Hopefully you can see in the camera. Spray that a little. Same thing, kind of tousling it. All right, Woo. Okay, now we're back to the pony. I feel a little bit like I dream of Jeannie, which is awesome. Okay guys, it's more of, you guessed it, teasing. So all you're going to do is tease the back of your pony and you're going to see how it's kind of going to start to grow and get a little crazy. Keep going right down your pony until you look like a little troll doll. Again, you're doing it right. It looks a little crazy. But no worries because we're now we're just going to kind of play with it. And what I like to do is I like to take the comb then and kind of brush back over the top of all this craziness because the teasing we want more so underneath the pony. That's why you lift it and tease from behind. And then I usually take like a paddle brush, so don't look at mine, I need to clean it out. And kind of just, you don't want to brush all of the teasing out obviously because you want that volume, um, but you want some of it out. And you can go back and take little pieces, play with it like this. And it's kind of fun because it's almost like a little sculpture. Like you can just kind of sculpt it as you go to whatever look you're going for. And if you want something a little bit more messy, then go for it. Um, but I'll pull my hair to the front here so you can kind of see. But that's basically the look I'm going for. I like the little waterfall pony kind of on top, like on top of my head. I think it's really cute. Um, here's the final look, guys. I love it. I feel really girly, flirty, feminine, and just really sweet as well.